fermentation. The first processing, uh, processing of the tobacco is fermentation, is happening in the barn. Okay? Because we don't want green tobacco. We don't want it in our factory. So, you can see the, the tobacco they uh, picked that morning, we're going to start to hang that tobacco in the barns. And we're going to start the first fermentation of that tobacco. Because as a manufacturer, we don't want that. We want this. And so, uh, the big thing, um, what I want from that my tobacco, I'm going to either receive it yellow or brown. And it takes these guys about anywhere from three months to about six months to completely change the color of the tobacco so we can receive that tobacco, okay? This is where, the, where I say to you guys, when you look at your humidor, the news for you guys, we're all using the same to get backwards. Everybody's buying from the same farmers. Everybody's going, uh, doing the same thing. But when we receive that tobacco, second, uh, the next slide, it's where we start to develop different cigars, flavors, and bodies. This is our fermentation. So our process, we receive that uh, cigar from the farms, and we're now ready to start our fermentation process and getting what from that cigar, or uh, from that tobacco flavor, flavor and body. So there's two things I'm trying to do to that tobacco through fermentation. One is get rid of something. What am I trying to get rid of completely? Nicotine. Yes, but harshness is each go for what? There's a certain smell, aroma that you can smell. Ammonia. Ammonia. So we need to get rid of that completely. Ammonia is a natural byproduct of tobacco. So we need to get rid of that completely and lower something. What are we going to lower? Nicotine. Nicotine. Because nicotine is so heavy in raw tobacco, we need to lower that nicotine level to about uh, maybe 5 to 7%. And we receive it about 8 to 13%, and we need to lower that tobacco. And the way we do this is uh, in, uh, fermentation is temperature. So this is the temperature is going to tell us when we need to flip that tobacco. It's not timing. So we can't put that tobacco in a pignon. Next slide. This is our uh, pignons. Pignons are just a, a, the tobacco stacked on, on each other. So these are hands of tobacco. Each hand has about 20 to 25 leaves of tobacco that we're going to stack and we're going to ferment that tobacco. The process of uh, fermenting tobacco is simple. Heat, pressure, and moisture. We're going to cook that tobacco by heat, pressure, and moisture. If you're ever working your leaves in your yard, and you have a pile of leaves, when you stick your hand in the middle of your pile of leaves, it's hotter in the inside than the outside. Because the heat and pressure and the moisture are creating the cooking process. So what we do is there is uh, we're going to have to turn it. So typically for natural tobacco, we're going to heat that uh, tobacco up for 90 degrees to 110 degrees. For Maduro, We'll heat that tobacco up from 120 degrees to 140 degrees. So if we're playing with natural tobacco, 90 to uh, 110, and we're playing with Maduro, 120 to 140 degrees. And what we do is, when that temperature reaches that 90, 95, whatever we're working with, and we look at the color, we need to turn it. So what we're turning is, what was in the bottom, of the, uh, the pignon needs to go to the middle. What was in the middle needs to go to the top. What was in the top needs to go to the bottom. And we do that process over and over and over. It tends to take us about anywhere from four months to, about, uh, to a year. Depending on the uh, style of the tobacco that we receive, is it thick, if it's heavy, if it's light, if it's you know very thin tobacco, that's the way that it's going to determine if it's going to be four months or a year in, uh, 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 in uh, uh, fermentation. 
So when we break that bulk down, what we're going to do is shake the tobacco, add some uh, oxygen into the tobacco, restack it, wet it down with just light uh, diving uh, water, and start that process over. And every day we go, the first thing that we do when we go to the factory is check that temperature. The temperature is uh, 76 uh, degrees today. And two days later, all of a sudden it's 98 degrees. Flip it, flip it, flip it. So the, we can't say, you guys, take that grignon and we'll be back in three weeks and we'll turn it. The tobacco talks to us and it will allow us to understand what they're doing and when we need to turn that tobacco. And we're talking about really uh, um, a wrapper because the processing of filler is different from a wrapper because we're not processing that tobacco as long because it's, we're not trying to receive as much body or flavor from our fillers because we want that wrapper to work for us. So these are wrappers we're talking about. So when you're looking at wrappers and after the uh, fermentation process is done, It's easier for me to sell insurance and talk <laughs> than tobacco. But today I'm going to have you uh, uh, sell you guys some product. So what we're to, uh, we're going to uh, ace the, uh, the wrapper. We're going to bail up that uh, those hands of tobacco, and that bail weighs about anywhere from 120 pounds to 130 pounds. Each bail of tobacco. Picture our warehouse has closed. We have right now about eight to ten working warehouses to uh, tobacco aging. Each warehouse has over 500,000 bales of tobacco. So you can picture this room from the floor to the ceiling stacked with tobacco. And we're going to age that tobacco from for a general score, no less than three years, up to five years. And so, if we don't flip that tobacco, what happens? Fermentation starts. Heat, pressure is going to start to cook that tobacco. So we need to turn that tobacco. So we have a team of guys, about uh, anywhere from uh, uh, nine to 12 guys that turn that tobacco. What was in the top needs to go to the bottom. What was in uh, the middle needs to go to the top. What was in uh, the uh, bottom needs to do, go to the middle. And we flipped that. And it took these guys about uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 days to flip 500,000 uh, bells to that back home. Guys, I'll meet you back here in three years. Wrong. Do it again. 10 days. Do it again. 10 days. Do it again. 10 days. One year. Two years. Three years five years. So all, when you talk to me, what, why some cigars are five dollars and some cigars are ten dollars, is the aging. All that labor, all that love and care that we have to put in that the, uh, the tobacco to age it has to go back into your price point of your cigar. Okay? After that aging process is done, we're ready to open that bell up and start to use that tobacco for production. And what we're going to do is uh, simply line that tobacco up on the tables and we're going to start to select that tobacco. Make sure that uh, the, the tobacco uh, color is uniform. Uh, there's no rips, no holes, no tears. And we're going to grade that tobacco from A, B, and C. And we're going to get wrapper and binder from that. After that process is done, we're going to we're going to take it to the sizing area. And this is where we're going to size each leaf of tobacco. Why do we do that? Why do we need to size the tobacco? Because if I want to make a 7 by 70, I can't use a short wrapper of 11 inches. I need a 21 inch wrapper to be able to uh, make that cigar. So I can't. I have to call my manager of that department and said, I want to launch a cigar of seven by 70. How much tobacco do you have? 
Ricky, how much uh, cigars you want to make? I want to make for my first launch uh, 500,000. He'll go back and say,